are doing this.
leaving the beach behind. We are now entering the beach. Restaurants and terraces nestled among the moorings of the sailboats and motor launches. The owners of these vessels have been keeping in touch with close ties between the sea and the city for many centuries. This fondness for water sports like sailing started with the Royal Nautical Club of Padua, one of the oldest maritime sports clubs in Spain.
course of the front Pali River on Torres Jordi Street, which takes us towards the Plaza de los Carros. Here there is an old chimney, framed by the river, the port and the railway lines, which reminds us that this area was once one of the most industrial parts of the city, and where the De Mula Wine Company and the Real Fabrica de Tabacos and the Chartreuse Liqueurs Factory were. Chartreuse was the city's most typical liqueur, made with herbs following the Carthusian monk's secret recipe. Although none of these three examples are still active today, industry, especially related to chemistry, is still one of the city's economies. On the left you can see a very impressive building. This was the old construction of the building, an important early Christian cemetery was discovered. Among the many graves, some incredible pieces were found, such as an ivory doll with movable arms and legs. This curious object, which can be seen in the cemetery museum, was found in the world's grave. After the tobacco factory and the early Christian cemetery, there was a shopping centre on the left, and further ahead on the right is the Parc de la Cine. Center is one of the many modernist houses that can be found La Quinta de San If you'd like to stroll around the Francoli River Park, see the cemetery, and do some shopping in the you can get off at the next stop. Be sure to consult our timetable if you would like to resume your visit with the Tarrato Trinette Tourist.